Hey guys, so today I have another look that I created from my Naked 3 palette. A lot of you have been requesting more and also requesting holiday tutorials. So I thought I would kill two birds with one stone and I did a more dramatic, more nighttime appropriate look and I was very inspired by like Arabian makeup and how sultry and dramatic it is and deep and I just love it. It's some of my favorite makeup looks to look at. I just think, oh my gosh, those women are gorgeous. I've been loving this palette. I know there are a lot of mixed reviews out there and to each their own, but for me, it is something that I have been thoroughly enjoying and getting a lot of use out of over this past couple weeks. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look in particular, please keep watching. We are going to start off by priming our lids with my primer potion. Now I'm taking my high brow pencil and I am going to be highlighting my brow bone with this. I'm just blending this out with an E15 brush. Now I'm taking the shade Limit from the Naked 3 palette and I'm going in with the E40, I believe it's called, yes, from Sigma and I'm just throwing this into and above the crease as a transition shade. Now I'm taking Strange and I'm going in with the MAC 214 and I'm just going over that brow bone highlight. This just makes it a little bit more matte and I love that they have a matte highlighting shade in this palette. If it was shimmery that would just be, it would actually kind of piss me off. Now I'm taking Trick and I'm applying this just to the center of my eyelid. I'm going in with an E55, this brush is amazing for packing on color. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if you guys, if my voice sounds really weird, I'm really sick. I've got a sore throat, so I'm going to suffer through this. Now I'm taking Black Heart, and I'm going in with my MAC 231 brush. You can use any small brush, like a really small concealer brush would work for this. You just want something small, just because it's going to be easier, you're going to make less of a mess. I'm just going to be be defining my inner and outer corner of my eye and I don't really have a crease um, a defined crease so I kind of have to cut it a little bit and guess where it is um, draw it in if you will you can kind of see the shape that I'm creating it's a little bit rounded now I'm taking this brush. This is kind of a no-name brush. I've talked about this one before. I got it at a TJ Maxx. Actually, Sonia Kashuk has one that's pretty similar. Um, the difference between this and my MAC 217 is that it's a little bit stiffer and less of like a rounded shape. It works really well for blending colors, like darker colors when you want more control. Um, the Sonia Kashuk one is the, I wanna say it's a number 109. You can get it at Target. So I'm really blending this out and I don't want any harsh lines. Now I'm going back in with the 231 brush and some more Black Heart product because I want to darken up that area again. Because of all the blending you kind of lose a lot of the uh, color. Now I'm going in my, with my 217. Jeez, I'm stuttering. I can't even speak. And I'm just blending this out. Now I'm taking some Fix Plus and Trick again, and I'm going over um, where I placed Trick before. This is just going to make the color pop a lot more. Now I'm taking my Sephora Long Lasting Coal Pencil in black and I'm going to be lining my tight line and my water line with this.
Now I'm taking Trick again and I'm going in the middle part of my lower lash line. I'm basically mirroring what I did on my top lid. So I'm keeping this color in the center. And then I'm going in with Blackheart, same pencil brush, and I'm doing the inner and outer corner of my lower lash line and connecting the two. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I'm creating a winged cat eye liner. Now I'm taking my Butterfly Mascara and I'm applying this to my top and my bottom lashes. Now I'm taking my Sephora Fringe Benefits Falsies and applying those to the outer corners of my eye. When that's done, I'm using my NARS Blush Palette. This is the One Night Stand Palette and I'm using the color Laguna to contour my face. Now I'm taking Orgasm Blush and applying that to my cheeks. And I'm sneezing. Why did I keep that? I don't know. Now I'm taking Devotee Highlighter and I'm highlighting the tops of my cheekbones and my usual places. Cupid's Blow, Blow, Cupid's Blow, really. I'm taking my Sephora Waterproof Lip Liner in Nude, my fave, and I'm lining my lips. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild lipstick from the Fergie line in Fergie Daily. And topping that off with my Smashbox lip gloss in Eternity. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click subscribe to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it. And if you want to recreate this look, tag me in Instagram at Megan McTaggart. I would love to see it. Thanks guys once again. I love you. So that is it. That's how I do the foundation part. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back in one, two. Oh.
the heavy other stuff doing that. Alright, so my makeup is done and it's funny because my original thought is like, oh, I'm gonna go super natural today because I just have running around to do and it's a foundation demo. But uh, as you guys might know, if you saw my recent haul, I just got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Black.